Today, we're going through the looking glass. And I'm Chef Dan, and we're here at the Mad Hatter Cafe in the Looking Glass in Salisbury, Maryland, and it's showtime. Welcome to the spot in Salisbury where wonders never cease. Talking about Mad Hatter Cafe, The Looking Glass. So excited to be here with my friend, executive chef and part owner, Daniel Mears. How are you doing, Daniel? Uh, we're doing great. We're happy to be here. Yeah, tell me a little bit about how business has been going. Uh, business has been um, unexpectedly fortunate for us. Like, we had no idea that opening up a restaurant in the middle of a pandemic was going to be as successful as it was. But, I mean, after a lot of years of blood, sweat, and tears, we've made it to this point, and it's, I mean, we're seeing the fruits of our of our efforts, and yeah. it's its exciting. So, you you kind of have two rooms here. You've got the look, you've got the looking glass, and you've got Mad Hatter Cafe. How does it work? Uh, well, we have the original Mad Hatter Cafe, mm -hmm. which uh, started out as a breakfast and lunch cafe, and then we just had more and more response for uh, fine dining in a bar mm -hmm. and so uh, we added our looking glass lounge and uh, you can get both menus on both sides I mean you you don't have to, to feel like you can't bring your kids out I love it that is awesome and have you changed your hours at all uh, we've changed it up a little bit now we're doing breakfast solely on Friday Saturday and Sunday morning uh, reservations are definitely um, recommended but mm -hmm. not required uh, we just don't want you to have to stand outside for an hour waiting for pancakes I mean we'd much rather for you to you know, know exactly what time you're going to be here, get your seat, and, uh, and, and get in here uh, when you want to get in here. We've changed our hours uh, for dinner. Uh, we're going to be open up for dinner on Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, Great. and on Friday and Saturday until 10 and uh, 9 throughout the rest of the week. All right, and how is that menu looking? Uh, we're actually going into our second menu change of uh, four menu changes of the year. We're going to keep a couple of the favorites that we had, uh, like our Bayard's Bounty, which is our filet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically a deconstructed beef wellington. And then we have our Carol Scallops with a lemon, bacon, and white wine sauce. It's really popular. And then we're adding a couple of things like you're going to see today is our mm -hmm. Bandersnatch, is our duck fried lamb chop. Yeah, with a uh, Thai chili, blood orange glaze, and purple mango sticky rice. And we have... Um, our version of a crab cake with a brown butter and basil soy sauce with a sticky rice as well and avocado and tomato salad. And uh, we've got things like matcha cheesecake egg rolls with fresh strawberries. And, and then uh, one of our other desserts is, is going to be our carrot cake. Of course, that follows in with our, our Easter and our spring and our rabbit mm -hmm. sort of a, an ordeal. But we're also going to keep our king's bread pudding, which is our banana bread pudding with uh, peanut butter and jelly sauce with candy bacon. So we're, 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 we're definitely evolving into, yeah. into spring and, and trying to show people a little bit more of what we have to offer. Yeah, and then a little later in the spring, we'll have Easter coming up. Yes, our, our first uh, big brunch of the season, we're going to do an Easter brunch, and mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be $25 a person, and it's going to have beef filet, omelet station, chip beef gravy, biscuits, and jam bar fruit, I mean, everything you can think of, we're going we're gonna to go all out. And then we're going to have $5 house Bloody Marys and mimosas all day long as well. Do people have a tough time choosing what they want? It all sounds amazing. I have a feeling that like people do have a tough time, but then we see them again weeks after weeks after weeks. Mm -hmm. Like We definitely have seen the same faces and lots of new faces as well. That's awesome. And for those folks who come week after week, they love it here. You guys have some merchandise they can sport, right? Absolutely. We've uh, pulled on some t-shirts and some hoodies. The t-shirts are $22, hoodies are 45 bucks, and uh, you can run around town and help support uh, local, follow the rabbit, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you mentioned it earlier, you've got a duck fat roasted lamb, say it again? It's a duck fried lamb rack with a uh, blood orange Thai chili sauce and purple mango fried rice with uh, some baby bok choy. And tell me real quick how you prepared that. Uh, basically, we take our duck rack and we fry it, in, or our, our lamb rack, and fry it in duck fat. And then uh, we glaze it with our blood orange Thai chili sauce. And then it, it comes with our purple mango fried sticky rice. And here we have it, what you were just chatting about. So I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I've got it, right. right? So I'm excited about this. Looks like a lot of flavors. Well. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. We're looking for every dish that we have to be special. Yeah. This is it's nice and sweet, but I couldn't taste a little spice too. And the lamb is cooked perfection. Thank you. Wow. And I love that it's so colorful too. Thank you. That is so delicious. 
And what's this called again? It's a purple mango fried sticky rice. I can honestly say that's the first time I've ever had purple mango fried I'm, sticky I'm rice. I'm sure you're on a list of people that that's going to be their first time. Yeah, but I like it. It's, an, it's a fun, like, change up. Because right. rice can be rice, right? And change it up. Right. And awesome. there's like 200 and some different varieties of rice, and why stick to just one? I like that. I like that about you. All right, so we've got that delicious dish. I sh for sure recommend that. If people want to hit up your website, what's the site? Uh, the to? website is madhattercafesalisbury.com, and we're on a delivery partnership with uh, DoorDash, and you can just order everything right off the line, and, and it'll, it can be delivered right to your door. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us Absolutely. today. Thank, Thank you, you for this delicious dish. Absolutely. And remember, reservations are not required, but they are recommended. And as is this dish. Back to you guys. Oh, that looks so good. Dine in, carry out, delivery, whatever you want. You have to check out the food at the Mad Hatter Cafe and the Looking Glass.